Uh, we are in Rivellino with um, Angela Lin and um, uh, Miss Lin. How about uh, your art? Uh, from where you uh, take your inspiration? Um, I've been painting since I'm a little girl and I take my inspiration from many, many places. Um, what I see, I'd say my inspiration is to um, to explore life through looking at things and what I see I put inside my work and it's a way of communicating so I think that's what drives me um, the desire to, to touch people, reach people with what I do and to form a language that is communicative um, so I'm, um, mostly I'm from a very broad cultural mix and um, I've lived all over the place and so probably always been looking for a common denominator, a human common denominator and for this reason probably the key uh, reference in my work is with nature, with trees, that uh, wherever you're from this could be a basis to connect people's understanding of, of human empathy. Nice, really nice. And uh, how about uh, your art uh, here in Rivellino? Um, this is um, a painting, um, a diptych, uh, uh, that is uh, in reference to the cedar trees that I have been taking the cedar tree as, um, as a basis for my work since 2008 actually I started painting cedar trees. I got very um, involved in the detail and the labor of love. Uh, this is a small cedar. I have done some works where I have seven meters of these very fine needles. And it's about giving time in a time where we have no time, we're always hurried, that I've developed a way of painting that requires presence. And I have to, with each brushstroke, uh, I have to be, be there. Otherwise, it's it just becomes. Um, decorative and it doesn't have the spirit that I'm looking for or communicative aspect that I look for in a painting. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, with Chris Mao in uh, Rivellino, uh, how about uh, to organize uh, an exhibition and uh, to promote an artist? Well, I have been in the gallery for more than 20 years, but uh, mostly in New York and uh, Beijing. And uh, since I uh, live here half time, um, three years ago, so um, I think it probably, not probably, it's definitely nice to have a show, what I've used to do 20 years in the little town I fall in love, Locarno. So um, this is a result of a show. And uh, it's just a beginning. Uh -huh. Okay, and then what's which difference there are in uh, to organize something in New York or in Beijing? Uh, the difference is, uh, you know, we know New York and Beijing is a big cosmopolitan city, and uh, probably the audience is different, and uh, a little bit more difficult to show there because it's such a big city. A little bit easier in Beijing because all the artists are in Beijing, so they can come to do things like we have Angela here. She's based here, and then we work together uh, much more person to person, easier. Do uh, show here is uh, I try to bring different uh, generations, different uh, media to give a little bit uh, uh, flavor what's uh, what I'm doing in the last 20 years. Okay, thank you. In uh, Rivellino with uh, uh, Mr. John Tancock, uh, okay. uh, we talk about uh, uh, this exhibition in uh, Rivellino. Uh, what we bring uh, there and why? Yes, well, I think Christoph now explained why. Um, when we saw the, the, this gallery space, it's on three different levels plus the basement. And the galleries are not very large, but they are all interesting shapes. We decided to have a group show of our work by artists with which the gallery has been associated 
for the last 20, 20 years. As, as Christoph now said, there are different generations. And I decided, and also very different um, so, yeah, styles. So I decided to call the exhibition Dialogue. It's a dialogue between New York and Locarno, and it's a dialogue between different generations of artists, those born in the 1950s and earlier, and some very young indeed, um, and also conversations between very different different artists. Okay. It's nice, really. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you.